Welcome to Hot Seat MD, a case conference review. The directions are simple. When the case appears, I will ask you to pause your media player. Then describe the study type and findings, give a brief differential diagnosis, and then check out the fast facts for additional information. Now pause your media player. This is a Technetium 99M methylene diphosphonate bone scan. The finding is linear uptake in the sacrum, with both vertical and horizontal components roughly forming an H. The diagnosis here is sacral insufficiency fracture. There is no real differential here, as this is a so-called ant mini. Now pause your media player. This is hepatobiliary scintigraphy, or a HIDA scan, with Technetium 99M Colitech, and demonstrates diffuse liver uptake with no biliary or bowel activity. Your differential diagnosis should include complete common bile duct obstruction, as well as, as a secondary consideration, acute cholecystitis. Now pause your media player. This is Technetium 99M HMPAO, or ECD, cerebral scintigraphy. This study reveals absent intracranial activity. The diagnosis here is absence of cerebral perfusion, also known as brain death. There is really no differential diagnosis here. Now pause your media player. Bone scintigraphy with Technetium 99M methylene diphosphonate reveals focal uptake in frontal and right iliac bones, increased soft tissue uptake in the region of the left breast, as well as vague diffuse uptake in the left hemithorax. Your diagnosis should be metastatic cancer from breast primary, including bone metastases and malignant pleural effusion. There is no real differential diagnosis here. Now pause your media player. This is a GI bleeding scintigraphy study with tag red blood cells and reveals right upper quadrant activity that increases over time and moves in an intraluminal fashion. The differential diagnosis should primarily include active hepatic flexure colonic bleed. As a secondary consideration, small bowel bleed could be mentioned, although is much less likely due to the distribution of tracer here. Now pause your media player. This is an F18 fluorodeoxyglucose PET scan and reveals focal uptake in the left lung with smaller foci of abnormal uptake overlying the mediastinum. The differential diagnosis should include lung cancer with mediastinal metastases and granulomatous disease which is much less likely with a unilateral presentation as is seen in this case. Now pause your media player. This is renal scintigraphy with Technetium 99M MAG3, or it could be DTPA. It reveals bilateral collecting system tracer retention. Post-diuretic imaging shows tracer retention in a dilated right system. The diagnosis should be right-sided obstruction of the collecting system with likely dilated but non-obstructed system on the left. And there is no real differential diagnosis here. Now pause your media player. Technetium 99M Sestimibi scan was performed which reveals a single focus of activity in the midline inferior to the thyroid gland that washes out less quickly than normal thyroid tissue. The Technetium 99M Protectinate scan confirms this is not thyroid tissue. The differential diagnosis should include parathyroid adenoma, parathyroid carcinoma, although this is rare, and other metastasis, such as breast cancer.